Hey everyone, guess who? It's Marissa again. I am so, so sorry to all of you guys who have been waiting for a haul video from me. I apologize, I have been neglecting this channel, but um, I do have a haul video for you today. It's a Tuesday morning haul video from the last three weeks. Um, so I just thought I would come on here and share with you what I picked up because I need to clean. But anyways, um, those of you who know, um, I've started my side business and it's called Agnes and Dora by Marissa. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, I will put all the information down below. Um, I know you guys um, that were Lula Row, it's similar to that. Um, but I will put all the information down below just in case you guys want to check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, enough about that. So I went to Tuesday morning the past three weeks. And picked up some things here and there so I did pick up some dyes I found a lot of dyes but I only picked up two so I found this really cute one this we saw this at Joann's a while ago so I got this for $2.99 this is by downtown Abbey and this is the perfume bottle so I picked that up and then I saw this I have not seen this before but I thought this was super duper cute look at that it is called um, swags and tails and this is also by downtown abbey look at the card that is so cute so that's it was 3.99 so i picked that up and then i also found some tape and this is by home and at home and hobby and i've never seen this brand before so i picked it up in threes these three different sizes and it was a dollar forty nine for this one, and then this one was ninety nine cents for the thinner, the smaller. Look at how skinny that is. And then the um, thicker one, the half half inch was a dollar ninety nine. So I saw that I picked that up because you know we can never have too much tape. And then I also found these, which is the red line tape by the same company and they were all 79 cents for the um for the different sizes so i picked that up <clears throat> i found this this is by what is this by crate paper and i've never seen this before this is super cute these are little embellishment hearts and it's the um the line is cute girl so I thought that was super cute. And then I picked up this chalk marker. And these chalk markers there are kind of expensive because I wanted the ones with the multiple colors. They were like seven bucks. So I just got one, it was $1.99. And I found some paper. Um, oh wait, wait, let me show you these. I saw this and I had to grab two because these are super cute. These are Thickers by Dear Lizzie. And look at how adorable these are. They're gold hearts. Look it. Super cute. And they were only $1.99, so I had to pick these up. Two of them. Okay, so moving on to the paper. I did find a lot of paper. This paper is embossed and um, foiled. And it's a 6x6. And this was $0.99. Cents, and I thought this was super cute. Look at how pretty that is. And there's gold and silver and black and just different embossed paper. So I thought that was really cute. Got that. And then I got another Dear Lizzie pad called Fine and Dandy. I know you guys have probably seen this one. This matches the little um, embellishment hearts that I picked up. So here's a little flip through. That one and this is cute this is by american crafts and the line is called umbrella and i've never seen this before and it was only 2.99 and this is super cute look at the little bunnies on there it's a spring pastel colors very pretty like i don't need any more paper but i just could not resist so i got that and then I found these fusible We Are Memory Keeper papers, and I got it for $6.99. And it's 12 by 12, 
And look at how cute. These are all the papers that are in it. I've seen this at Hobby Lobby, but I never picked up the fusible papers um, because I have the, um, what fuse tool do I have? I have the Project Life one, and for the life of me, I've tried everything. Everything that you can imagine that they tell you to do on Facebook, and this darn thing does not fuse. So, um, I eventually want to get this one, and I've been looking for this at Hobby Lobby because I've seen um, Marissa um, here. She was able to get one of these from Hobby Lobby for, I mean, not Hobby Lobby, from Tuesday morning for, like, super cheap. Like, I think six bucks. But my Hobby Lobby, or my Tuesday morning didn't have it. But they did have the paper, so I picked that up. And then I found this Jen Hadfield DIY home paper. It was $6.99. And that's what it looks like. So I, I kept them keeping this and putting it back and then putting it in my cart, putting it back. So I said, what the heck, I'm just going to grab it. So I picked up this one. And then the last paper pad I got is super cute by Dear Lizzie again. It's called Happy Place. And that was also $6.99. Super duper cute. Look at the bubbles. I love the bubbles, you guys. It has cherries, cameras, watermelon. Oh, this one's cute. The black. The glasses with the hearts. The bubble. The bubbles are super adorable. So, they had a lot more items that I just wanted to get, but I didn't want to go fully, like, crazy. I mean, I did go crazy, but this is accumulation of three weeks, you guys. So, I went last week, and then I went yesterday, found a lot of cool things, found these. These are some vinyl adhesive, and they were $2.99. And I got the silver, the gold, and the turquoise. And they're like glitter. So I picked that up. And then they also had the foil in silver. And this is by American Crafts. Who is this by? American Crafts. $2.99. So I picked that up. And then I they had... um. A few, not too many, but they just had a few Martha Stewart punches. So I, this is the only one I picked up with the star. And this one was $3.99. Yeah, I don't know why that. This is like a, um, as you guys, some of you guys heard me say in a previous video that um, they closed down the one that's like literally down the street from me. So the other one is closer to my work, which is about 20 20 25 minutes away from my house so I eventually went there and the the store is big but however I'm surprised that they didn't have a lot of the Martha Stewart items I mean they have things but but anyways I found the we are memory keeper photo sleeves so I was able to find the 4x4 and the instax um, size the two by twos and some more four by fours and the Instax ones. So these were all a dollar ninety nine. So I picked these up because you know those are good for your shaker cards. And then, like I said, I was looking for the fuse tool, but they didn't have it. But I did find the fuse mat and the holster, and that was um, nine ninety nine. And that's what the holster looks like. It um, hangs on your desk. There's the mat. So I got that, and then I did find the fuse ruler that they have, and that was $4.99. So I picked that up, and then I found some more Martha Stewart items. At Michael's, this was super duper expensive, but I got it for $3.99, you guys, and this is the French cutter. This is the only one they had, so I just swooped it up for $3.99. I had to get it. Even, I couldn't remember if I had it or not, but I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get it, and then I can gift it to somebody. So I got that. And the last thing that I got that I had to get, I had to swoop it up. I probably have this already. I think I do. Or I have the smaller one. I picked up the scoring board, and this was only $3.99. $3.99, you guys. And it is the scoreboard. 
you can make envelopes and all kinds of stuff so um yeah so that is my tuesday morning haul again you guys i will put down my information down below if you guys are interested in checking out my online store and my facebook page agnes and dora by marissa so i hope everybody enjoys the rest of their weekend i miss you guys um and i hope everybody has a great week thanks for watching and bye for now